security problems than it would solve for everyday Americans. Are they wrong? Well, look, they're joint, the joint terrorism task forces need resources and they need tools, and those are made up of the FBI, state, and local law enforcement. And, Megan, it's best not to talk any more about backdoors and encryption. It'll get solved, but it needs to be solved in the situation room of the White House with the technology this folks. public testimony. So, yeah, but I, I just have to tell you that it's best with some of these things not be said. Now, I want to go back to something. See, I was there when Reagan rebuilt the military. I was there in 89 when the wall came tumbling down because we were strong. And I was there when we went in the Gulf War, and we didn't win that war just from the air. We won that war by assembling a group of Arab leaders who stood in the Rose Garden and stood with America. We want to destroy ICE. It has to be in the air and on the ground. It has to be with, with our friends in the Arab world and our friends in Europe, the coalition that we had when we went to the first Gulf War. And then when we win that, and we will win that against ISIS as it settles down, we should leave because we shouldn't be policemen of the world. But what we need to do is turn it over to the regional powers to uh, be able to handle that. But we have a unique time in, a, in America to connect with people all around the world that understand that there's an existential threat against all of them. The Arabs, the Jordanians, the Saudis, the Egyptians, our friends in Europe, and including the Turks. So we have a unique opportunity to bring everybody together. I saw Reagan do it. I've seen other presidents do it. And frankly, if you want to be commander in chief, you have to have the experience. At the same time we're doing all that, the Pentagon must be reformed so we get what we need for our men and women in uniform. All of that together, we're going to be just fine, and America is going to continue to lead the world. Governor, thank you.